Time for something else that you can cook at home that may be something different, something you probably thought, I'd have never thought of making that before. So what we have here, I went ahead and chopped some things up already, but we'll go ahead and get right down the ingredient list to let you know how easy this is going to be to make. And it's a really good appetizer, if you will. Um, I'd say if you're having a party, you could do it then, but don't have a party because we can't be getting together these days, right? At least we're not supposed to be getting together. So maybe this for your immediate family, husband, wife, kids, things of that nature. These are called crab bites. If you want to use real crab, by all means, go ahead. But I have found that, you know, maybe the, uh, the imitation crab would work a little bit better on this for you. And, of course, it's going to be a whole lot easier on your wallet. And that's my entire purpose when I'm cooking for you is if something that's easy on your wallet. So here are the ingredients that we have thus far. Inside my bowl, this is an entire 8-ounce package of cream cheese, as you see there. And then I have plenty of corn here. This is an entire can of corn. Uh, I went with a sweet corn. Uh, didn't go with the cream corn on this one, and I probably wouldn't do cream corn because uh, you'll see why here in just a second. It'd be too, it might be too runny, and you don't want this to be runny. I've also taken some zucchini, chopped it up very finely. Also took some carrots as well and chopped those up very finely. Now, if you're going to be doing this yourself, and you're going to, of course, add the carrots in there, the carrots that I got are these kind right here. I believe they call those like matchsticks or something of that nature. I didn't get the actual carrot, then cut it up, then cut it up, then cut it up. I actually uh, used my chopper on these. So I took those, put them in my chopper that kind of closes and presses with your pressure, uh, cuts it through a little grate, if you will. Made a whole lot more easier doing that. Same thing with the zucchini. I just took the zucchini. Of course, this is not a zucchini. This is a cucumber. But I took my zucchini, cut it up into the small little pieces, as, you, as I just kind of showed you there. Put that through my chopper as well. That's why they're such perfect little squares because of that right there. Then, of course, you get uh, your crab, if you want real crab or imitation crab. Uh, I forgot Angie's not working today. Angie loves her imitation crab. The, honestly, that's all the ingredients right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cream cheese, I'm going to go ahead and begin mixing that with um, all my ingredients here. There's one ingredient I didn't tell you about yet, and I'll tell you that here in just a second. So go ahead and kind of mix the corn in there. Probably not going to add all of the corn. My bowl's a little on the small side. And with cream cheese, of course, you know it's in the uh, cool section there of the store. Uh, so what you want to do is either lay your cream cheese out for a while, so that it gets soft, because you can see how easy this is for me to mix right now. Uh, leave it out for quite a while to soften, or just put it on a microwave-safe plate, and depending on the wattage there of your microwave, uh, you'd put it in for, you know, maybe 30 seconds or something of that nature. So go ahead, uh, mix everything in. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little carrots in there too. So far, we're talking pretty much healthy, right? I mean, I know the cream cheese itself isn't the most healthiest thing, but hey, at least we're getting our vegetables in there, aren't we? Then you're going to continue to stir. Now, what you're going to do here relatively soon, once it starts to really uh, get evenly mixed, is there is a spice that you can find. Uh, it comes in all different sizes. I just have a small bottle here. It's a spice called tahin, T-A-J-I-N, tahin. And what that is, it is a little on the salty side, so you won't have to worry about adding any salt into this mixture. Uh, but it's also very strong with lime flavor. So now this is getting really mixed up good. I'm going to throw some tahini in here. Now, I want to tell you, tahini is kind of on the strong side and not strong as in hot. There's really there's no spice to this when it comes to the amount of heat, but it's really a strong spice. I mean, I gave some to my producer earlier. And he's like, wow. And I just gave him just maybe, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. So sprinkle your tahini in there, and that's probably all you're going to need. Then you just continue to stir. This does not require any sort of baking. So if you don't want to use the oven, uh, the convection oven, the stovetop, then this is the recipe for you when it comes to appetizers because, again, you're not going to have to use anything. I'm going to add a little bit more corn in here, add a little bit more zucchini, add a little bit more of my carrots as well. Give that a quick mixture because I'm getting, I'm starting to see more cream cheese than vegetable now. So I want to make sure we get a good amount of vegetables in there to give it all the flavor. And when you're done, sample it. See what you think. If you think it needs some more tahini, add some more tahini. Then what you're going to do is just uh, take your cucumber, and you're going to start cutting your cucumber just into small slices. Not too thick, just some very thin slices. And these are called crab bites, and this is going to be what is your bite. So then, once you have your cucumber here, you've got your tahini already mixed in. Probably take a spoon, it'll probably be a little bit easier. Put it right there on top of your cucumber, if it decides to come off, which that one is. There we go. Uh-oh, let's do that, that's a big bite. So there we go.
And then you're just going to take some of your crab, cut it up very small into small fine pieces. If you want to mix your crab in, go ahead, but it might kind of tear apart. Put a little bit of your crab there on top. A little extra color on top there with your tahini. And there it is. There's your crab bite right there. Easy to make, flavorful, because it's got lots of tahini in it, and very easy to make as well. Put it on a serving tray and get yourself a crab bite. We'll make Ronnie's crab bite coming up next.